Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is said to have many emotional and action-packed sequences in this movie by director J.J. Abrams as well as creator George Lucas. That's also going to make us view the Star Wars franchise in a different light. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really intriguing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to have a lot of connections to the originals and the prequels, as well as other forms of canon material, and even abandoned ideas from the past two trilogies. And on top of all of this, we do know that this film is very important to Disney and Lucasfilm as companies, and even more so for the Star Wars community. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions and one of the set leaks, this is where things begin to get very exciting for Episode 9. Now, specifically, it's described that one of the plans by J.J. Abrams and George Lucas for reshoots during September of this year is to adjust and complete an emotional scene between two iconic legacy legacy characters, that being of course Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. It's a to be a sequence in which it serves as a flashback where the Millennium Falcon was used on set in front of Luke's Jedi training temple, where Harrison Ford is planned to walk down the ramp and hugging Mark Hamill, as Luke during the sequence where an actor in his teens is said to be placed in the background playing a younger Ben Solo that deeply resembles Adam Driver. It's said to be a moment in which Han drops Ben Solo off to Luke for training. Another sequence that was already developed involves a sequence in which Luke's Force Ghost is presented in front of Kylo Ren, where suddenly Han Solo is said to appear from thin air next to Luke. It said that though Luke does not see the vision of Han, both Luke and Han are standing next to each other, through, of course, Kylo Ren's eyes, as Luke uses this as a tactic against Kylo Ren during one of Kylo's saber fights against Rey. So, let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, we do know that this film is going to be very emotional, when it comes to many of the legacy characters, we're talking about Luke, Leia, Han, Lando Calrissian, Chewbacca, you name it. And, you know, the fact that they really are trying to utilize these characters in different ways that we have never seen before on the big screen is really going to be very intriguing to see how it's all going to be pretty much, you know, inserted into the film and how it's really going to resonate with Star Wars fans. And on top of all of this, you know, I will say that this movie has a lot of things going on. We've got flashbacks, we've got vision sequences, we've got different types of lightsaber duels and different types of space battles coming into the mix. So, I want to talk about this younger actor that is said to be in his teens that is actually said to resemble, or deeply resemble, a version of Adam Driver. So, I guess that this actor is young enough to the point where he can play Pretty much, you know, Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo in his younger years when he was first dropped off to Luke Skywalker's training temple. Again, this also alludes to Luke Skywalker's dialogue in The Last Jedi when he was talking to Leia where he said, you know, Han was Han about it, you know, and he said, I took him and a dozen students. So, we're getting a visual narrative of that piece of dialogue by Luke when he said Han was Han about it. You know, in this scenario, yes, it's said that they both hug, you know, Han and Luke, but at the same exact time, you know, Han's going to express that he's not so keen on this, that he doesn't necessarily think that this is the best idea. And I think that's a very interesting side. It may have very well been a major, you know, uh, factor into the separation between Han and Leia, without a doubt. And on top of all of this, I will say that when we look at The Rise of Skywalker, this film does have a lot going for itself. You know, I also want to go over the other sequence involving the third act of the film, where Luke uses a new ability that's able to manipulate Kylo Ren's mind to see the actual vision of his own father Han Solo standing next to Luke's Force Ghost during his duel with Rey as a way to interrupt their battle. And this is actually said to work for a moment where Kylo Ren has to back off from Rey, and Rey stops fighting him in respect, and that's when he's looking at this vision. And I think it's a very emotional and heartwarming moment between father and son. Now, the biggest question of all is, you know, is this really going to be what changes Ben Solo to become a good man again? Now, like I've always said before, there's going to be resurrection for a sequel trilogy-based character in the third act of Episode 9. A lot of people are wondering, who's going to get resurrected? Is it going to be Kylo Ren or Rey? You know, we also know that there will be resurrection for some of the legacy characters as well. But resurrection for a sequel trilogy character sounds like it's going to be Kylo Ren that dies from the Sith spirit of Palpatine from what we have heard, and once he dies, he is resurrected by Luke's Force Ghost and comes back as a good man once again, leaving Kylo Ren's persona dead, but Ben Solo as a person alive and well. 
That, I think, is going to be the direction of the end of the movie. From all the things that we have been talking about and from what we have actually been hearing, it's really heading in that direction 100%. So, with that being said, guys, I will say that I'm very excited and eager to see new footage of this film, new material such as images and interviews by JJ, Chris, and George, everybody involved with this movie. It really has a lot going for itself, and I think that's exactly what people are waiting for. So yeah, just uh, hang in there. We got a couple of weeks to go until everything starts rolling for this movie during the month of August of right now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, no.